Okay, this is a little explanation of how to use the Talent LMS platform. First of all, I'm just going to log in with a, a student's account. I'm currently logged in as teacher, so let me just sign in with the username or email. So this is what I sent you in uh, in your introduction email, and it should be if I remember this and. Uh, Let's see if I've got the password right. There we go, and we're in. I don't want to save it though. Okay, and this is what the platform looks like. You'll see you've got your list of courses here. There's only one for the moment. And a few other characteristics. You can see the time that you've been online. Mine's currently at zero hours, zero minutes. The number of courses you have in progress. And then things like badges and points that the teacher can award for doing certain tasks. If you go up here to your name, you'll see you've got a little menu. The first item in the menu, My Info, is the first place you should go. And you can see you can add a profile picture here. This is uh, my friend Ted. Uh, and it's probably a good idea to change your password from the one that I gave you. So let's just change this to something different. And then Update User. It asks you to put in your old password to confirm so put the old one in there, updated successfully, now it's changed to the new one. Now we'll click back on home and we can have a look at the first certificate course that I've made for you here. So you just click on the name of the course, it opens up and you see the course material. The very first thing on here is a video that's a little presentation to the course. You can watch it, of course. Uh, and pay close attention to the vocabulary. When you've finished watching the video, click complete and continue. Some points get added to your total up here. You get points for watching videos and for the time that you spend online, the number of times that you log in and things like that. I'm not so interested in the points. Uh, and then the second little activity I have on here for you is uh, useful language from the welcome video. So I've put here some phrasal verbs, some expressions, uh, and some vocabulary that I used in the welcome video for you to study. Of course, you can look at this on the screen here. You can also download it for you to keep. So if you go up here to files at the uh, top right, you've got a list of the, all of the course files here that you can click to download to your computer. Uh, OK, we'll click complete and continue. And the next activity you have to do is a little test from this vocabulary. So let's see if we can do it. Start test. And we've got some different questions. The purpose of this course is to oh, to turn over, to take advantage of, to look forward, to keep up. I um, don't want to tell you the answer, so I'll just choose one at random. And I'll go through all of these. I'm not really looking at the answers. I'm just choosing random ones to get through it, and you'll see I think I've accidentally chosen a few correct ones. See if you can find which ones they are. Ah, okay, so don't look at this too much because you're it's going to tell you all the correct answers. Uh, ah, but we've passed with 50%. Okay, so pass, let's continue. If you fail the test, you have to repeat them to continue. Uh, if you have any problems, just let me know. Pass, let's continue. And it takes you on to the next screen, which is an introduction of uh, week one's work. Anyway, you can go through the different exercises that I've put on here for you. Um, if you want to go through the exercises uh, in a different order to the order that they appear in, you go up here to the uh, name of the current exercise and you get this little drop-down menu that shows the whole course. This is your course map, really. If you use this on the iPad or on a phone, you see a course map in the presentation screen when you log in on the website you have to go to find the course map it's up here to the current activity and it drops down like this you see the progress bar you might notice because i'm still uploading material the progress bar will go down as i add more material the percentage that you have done will go down um and here we can jump forward to the different exercises that i've put on here this is a little assignment that you have to send to me for me to mark. Um, when you've looked at the presentation that comes before it, it will make sense. To send your answer, you have some different options. You can record audio, 
which is interesting. I don't know if it's the best way to respond to this one, but you could if you wanted. It's a little speaking practice. You can upload a file that you've made on your computer, or you can do a text reply here. I think that's the best way. So you're going to answer each question, put number one, your answer, number two, and your answer, etc. Send your reply and continue. Pending reply from instructor, so it's waiting for me to, to mark. You can change your answer as well, upload a new file, all of the usual things. To go back to the home screen, you click on the name of the course here at the top left, so for certificate, and there you go, you're back to the home screen. And that's more or less it. There are one or two other features to look at. Course catalog, we don't need to worry about. The progress, you can see most of the things on the home screen, but here you get some nice little graphics uh, showing your progress through the course. Groups, we don't need to worry about at the moment because it's a very small class anyway. Maybe we'll use the groups later if more people join the course uh, to separate you by your speaking groups or things like that. Uh, and then discussions. And I've made just a little test discussion here, a little chat. Welcome. And we can just put a little hello message to introduce yourself here, to introduce yourself to the other students that are doing the course if you want. Reply. And there we go. And also you can like the, you can like and comment other people's contributions. And I think that is it. Honestly, the calendar I haven't explored very much. Maybe I'll make some events on the calendar if I'm asking you to do writings for a particular date or something like that. But there's nothing on the calendar at the moment. And if you have any questions, when as you go through the course, so let's open an, a course activity. Uh, as you go through the course, let's say that you have a question about the vocabulary from the welcome video. You want to say, Fraser, for example, I don't understand this uh, term, tips, or I'm not sure if I can only use as well at the end of a sentence or if I can use it in the middle of a sentence. Then you can go up here, send message to instructor, uh, and you can ask your questions to me here. Or if you want the questions to be public, you can do it in the discussions. And really, that is more or less everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask. You know where to find the messages. Um, okay, so I'll see you online soon.